writer today. She attended Columbia College Chicago for sign language interpretation. She is a moderator, an MC, a hostess for PBV Group, which is a company that provides music events and media for local Atlanta businesses. <coughs> We are so excited to have two wonderful authors here today. The first is Michael Lee West. Michael graduated from East Tennessee State University with a nursing degree. Now, that doesn't change anything in terms of her writing. She's been writing since childhood, and she has a great passion. And it has brought us six novels, including Crazy Ladies, Consuming Passions, which is a food memoir, and her recent work, Gone with the Hands Were Man. She's here to discuss her passion for writing and food. Please welcome Michael Lee West. We also have with us today Nora McFarland. She has an MFA, Master of Fine Arts, from the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts. She began her career as the only female TV news photographer in Bakersfield, California, which brings us Lily Hawkins. She worked for CNN and is a former community relations manager for Barnes & Noble. Hot Shot and Bothered, her current book is second in her planned trilogy of featuring the protagonist, Lily Hawkins. Please welcome Nora McFarland. Thank you, Beth. Well, I want to get right ahead started because I know that everyone probably has lots of questions which we'll take later. But to start out, I wanted to know from both of you, I'll ask you first, when did you know you wanted to be a writer? Well, um, Probably when I was a, a young girl, I went to Girl Scout camp and I got sick. I caught some kind of weird disease called histoplasmosis because I went in a cave and I had to come home and go on bed rest for like the whole summer. And um, so my mother went to the library and brought home stacks and stacks of books and, and I just, you know. It started from there. Well, she started out with, please speak in the closer. Same question actually. When did you know you wanted to be a writer? Well, um, I've always been a mystery fan. And when I was a teenager and other people were reading middle grade books and things like that, I was reading cozy mysteries, which are kind of like the G-rated mysteries, you know, that would be uh, approved for a, a teenage girl. And, um, you know, when you love something, you know, you want to experience in all different ways. You want to, you know, I wanted to read it, but I always wanted to write a mystery too. Even back when I was a teenager, and I would get an idea, and um, I would think, oh, this is just going to be so good. It's a great mystery. And I would try to write it, and I would fail, and, you know, I would give up because it was very hard, and I would just say, well, you know, I'm. I'm not a writer, I'm not talented in that way. I, I can be a fan, but I can't be a writer. And um, I went on that way even into my 20s. And uh, when I went to grad school for film and television, it was for production. But we had to take screenwriting classes, they were required. And when I started doing that, I, I loved it. And I started to feel like, you know, I could be a writer, but a screenwriter maybe. And um, then, you know, when I went to work in Bakersfield, uh, it was uh, great research, uh, and I immediately said, this would be a great mystery. You know, I'm going out to crime scenes, I'm seeing dead bodies, <laughs> doing all these things that, you know, writers are desperately trying to get access for their research, and here it is, it's my job every day. So, um, I tried again, and I failed again, <laughs> and I gave up again. And then I went to work at Barnes & Noble, and I met the writers that came into the store. And um, they were the ones who said, you know what, you can do it, and you should get out there and you know, try again, and, and don't give up. And it was really getting that encouragement from other writers that I said, well, I'm going to finish, and I'm going to go through, and it's okay if it's bad, <laughs> uh, for about three years. And um, 
you know, it, it actually sold. It was the first thing I ever wrote, the first thing I finished. I started many, but it was the first thing I finished. And it sold in this three book deal. So I was very lucky. Wonderful. That's with Simon & Schuster. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. So what are your goals as a novelist? My goals? Mm -hmm. My goals are, I want to give a reader a reason to turn the page. That's my only goal. Wow. <laughs> and, and so, it, you know, I, I haven't achieved that within my own family. <laughs> <laughs> That's often the hardest song. 